How you doing? In the old life, the trickiest part of pulling off a big heist was dividing up the loot. So many fingers, so little pie. Seems a shame to give all this money away, considering these guys already skimmed it behind my back. So I want you to put a little surprise in the boxes. Jimmy, you are a no-good, backstabbing scumbag who'd sell out his own mother to turn a buck. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Ah, Cheech, you always know what to say. Thanks, pal. You put the cash in with the bums, didn't you? Was I not supposed to? Oh! Oh, I get it now! Come here, you. I can't stay mad at you. That ain't what happened. You went to town on me with a baseball bat. So? You deserved it! I still got Louisville Slugger imprinted on my ass. You know what you are? A brutal, bloodthirsty hood who'd beat up his own mother for crossing him. Mm. Ah, you always know what to say, Cheech. Come here, you. No way, Jimmy. You ain't messing up this hair again. Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. I know you're trying to save money, but if you fall off of there, I'm not spending the rest of my life changing your diapers. Cook, I didn't rise to the top of organized crime being scared of heights. I wish you were. You wouldn't have chucked Gambini out of that skyscraper and someone else would be fixing that roof. <clears throat> <sighs> I gotta go get ready for jazzercise. <laughs> they still do jazzercise in Regina. So, since when do you wear diapers? Are you done yet? I'm bored over here. What are you doing? Who's holding my safety line? I tied it off. What am I, a mook? See you later, boys. Salut, mon ami. Holy crap. God is French. I owe Schwashwa 20 bucks. believe they're forcing me to be on the stupid debate team. Next time, think before skipping class to drive a friend to an abortion. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. A friend. Madam Chairperson, judges, esteemed yet poorly prepared opponents from the Catholic school. Shut up! Jesus totally rode a dinosaur. I have crafted a tight rebuttal. <laughs> Oh, I get it. Tight rebuttal. Very mature. <laughs> uh, let me begin by saying... <sighs> Pass. Do you wanna... No, oh, thank you! Ew! Even your sweat tastes like failure. <laughs> Baby, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were tied to the car. Cancel the bulk diaper order. Hello, I'm Jack. Glad you're okay. Hey, Jack. Jimmy. See this TV he's got? It's like you're right there with the Wiggles. Ho! Oh, speaking of Wiggles. This is my wife, Jeanette. Do you mind my asking, but were you ever a dancer? Me oui. But uh, not with the clothes on, eh? I knew it! A sister stripper. Give me five. Up top. <laughs> Want to help me put up my stripper pole? Yo, Cheech, quit staring at her ass. Why don't you take a picture? <laughs> I like this guy already. Well, we don't got no more Labats. Where does a guy get the beer in vagina? I know it's Regina, but vagina make me laugh. Trust me, that joke gets old quick. So, Jacques, where's that accent you got from? France? 
Uh, no, I'm from the place with the, the man's skirt and the, how you say, the, the oh, squeeze bag of music. Scotland? Oui, c'est ça, I'm from the Scotland. I think main skirts are Greenwich Village. What's your last name? It's Boucher, uh, I mean, uh, McFelcher. I already told you once, bud, feet off the table. Okay, but first you kiss my hairy ass. You believe this, Chief? A bar fight! It's like I'm 12 again! I know Botox helps excessive perspiration, but why do you care? If I gotta be on a team full of losers, I want it to be a winner. You're our only hope! Doc, fill these pits with everything you got! Ew! Now his face is leaking! I got this one. Everyone at headquarters had a good laugh when they heard I had to bail you out of jail yet again, Jimmy. Did anyone mention me? We didn't start it. We just joined in when it got going. Oh, of course. You didn't do it. Just like the last time and the time before that. There will come a day, Jimmy, that I won't be there to catch you when you take yet another of your enthusiastic leaps from grace. Oh, you'll be there, Bakul. You got no friends, no life. You got nothing. <laughs> He's right. Hey, don't you think it's funny how we got so much in common? Almost too much, if you know what I mean? He means your wives are both hot-looking broads. Ho, <laughs> ho, ho. Sound like somebody want a crack at Jeanette, no? Well, you're a big man, and I've seen you fight, so uh, <laughs> I'll pass. But I may rub one out to her at some point, if that's okay with you. You honor me with your future masturbation. <gasps> Still rocking the dress, Rads McCool? You look like a giant apple with legs, man. David Suzuki's wispy beard, Slade Donovan. <laughs> Lanny McDonald's magnificent mustache! That's right. What are you doing here? You need something. What I'm doing here is above your pay grade. What I need is for you to do your damn job, Dudley Do Wrong. <laughs> Jacques, I told you not to associate with these people. Man, what the hell is going on? Cheeks tried to hug the Wiggles and he knocked over the TV. I need a new one, Mountie. Yeah, get us a new TV, Mountie. Wait a sec, why do you have a Mountie? Why do you have a Mountie? <gasps> Witness, Witness protection! protection! <laughs> <laughs> I was a biker in Quebec who ratted out my own drug suppliers. I was a capo in the mafia who killed my own boss. I knew you McDougal boys had that dirty rat deep inside you. Actually, mine's a hamster. Say goodbye, Jimmy. Protected witnesses are forbidden to fraternize. Jacques! Jimmy! Jacques' hot wife! <laughs> Why am I under house arrest? Jacques's the one who started the bar fight. Ah, jeez, I just can't stop ratting on people. And I cannot have you making me look the fool in front of my fellow officer. Until Jacques testifies, Slade wants you to stay indoors and be a good boy. What am I, a puppy? Metaphorically, yes. So don't make me rub your nose in it whilst hitting you with a rolled up newspaper, which I would never do in reality as cruelty to animals is most un-Canadian. Unless you're an Inuit seal hunter, then it's a matter of survival. But I like hanging out with Jacques. He's the first cool friend I've made here in Vagina. <laughs> yeah, okay. Still kind of funny. I'm sorry, Jimmy, but there's to be no more playdates with your degenerate Quebecois bestie. For Canada, where uneven population density makes it hard to meet new people! Ernest Hemingway once said, this shotgun tastes like... Thank you. I never understand what's going on at these talk fights, but we won, right? 
Somehow, even though I pulled that argument out of my butt, they don't seem to care what I say. Your face is doing all the work for you. That's ridiculous. People aren't that shallow. Sorry. I just kind of got lost in your eyes. Teresa, snap out of it. OK, if you insist. Insist, I meant insist. Um, ew. Are you wearing a safety line? Cause those things are dangerous. I need a favor, Jimmy. Can you help old Jack? I don't know. If McCool finds out, he might take away my TV privileges. I need you to hide this pour moi. Just until Slade stop being such a, how you say, a ball squeezer. You mean ball buster. Not when Slade do it. Better I don't say what it is. We keep this entre nous, no? I don't know what under Nuno means, but you better be careful. You don't want to get kicked out of the program. Ah, who give a shit, eh? <laughs> oh, you just did. Mmm, something smells fun. What do you suppose it is? What? My crime doll was tingling. <gasps> Bolivian marching powder? Let me just say. I am so glad you're back in business, Pop. I never really lost faith in you. It ain't mine, Gina. So you stole it? Even better! Sorry, kid. Ah, you rat bumstead stool chicken sucker, but damn it! I'm so mad I can't even curse right! <laughs> I can't have this garbage in my house. We gotta give it back. After we have a taste. No, you dumbass. If McCool catches us with it, he's liable to send us right back to New York. And the downside to that is? What's Jack doing at a rail yard? Fingers crossed he's getting another shipment of sweet mama yayo. Get ready to hand this off to him. What seems to be the problem, officer? I hope you have a good explanation for being out of the house and following McFelcher around. Mother courage, I feel great! Do you ever feel just great, Jimmy? Yeah, I want to order a bunch of Chinese food and just stare at it. Egg rolls! Egg rolls! We should drive to the coast! And fast, right? Really goddamn fast! I swear, I could bench press this SUV. You want to see me do it? I will effing do it right now. Watch me. Oh, hey, Slay, just wailing on my packs. The devil's dangerous. This is a new low even for you, straight McFool. Shut up, spot me, count my reps. Better yet, come at me, bro. The dog patrol had a debate tonight. Oh, right. Sorry. I was getting a handy from the convertible chick. You don't even know her name? Don't need to. I'm good looking. Thank you, Botox. There's more to life than being good looking, Petey. And as much as that isn't true, this isn't you. For once, people are judging me not for who I am, but for how I look. And it feels great. Now, excuse me, I need to go buy a crap ton of body spray. I'm telling you, McCool, those were Jacques' narcotics. Oh, balded ass Jimmy, I see what's going on. You're jealous of McFelcher's freedoms. No, I ain't. The guy's about to get himself kicked out of witness protection. Funny, because that's exactly what you're doing. Now, where's Cheech? I cleaned the car. I got into all the cracks and crevices with a straw. It's spotless now. Jimmy, it's spotless. Cheech, I have no choice but to put this on you. No! You can't make me a robot! Cheech! Stop I it! I don't wanna! Stop! It's uncomfortable! Hold still! That is not funny! Stop it! Hold still right now! Stop it! Oh, you guys are dicks.
Jimmy, you are the biggest badass! <laughs> you don't just do the coke, you make the arresting officer do it too! I love you guys! Jack, level with me. You're up to something, ain't you? No, mon frère! Then, what were you doing at the train yard? Did you join the circus? Tell me you joined the circus. All right, I tell you. I got a thing for the train! <laughs> By the way, Jimmy, I go now. You believe that? He dodged my question like you dodged a subpoena. He's planning a heist. Before we do anything, can we get some more Peruvian disco sugar? Doesn't anybody just say cocaine, for Christ's sake? Uh, I got the wobblies real bad, and uh, I'm starting to hallucinate. Ain't that right, Lonnie? Who are you talking to? All right. You want to know what he might be heisting from that yard? A lot of stuff comes through there. Let me check the manifest. Wheat, wood chips, eh, something called dildos from PEI. It's so obvious. Everyone needs dildos. Cheech, grab yourself a methadone from the mini fridge and shut up! Thanks, kid. Methadone? That's Sonny D. Fuck does he know? All right, what else we got? Coal, lumber, potatoes. Hey, wait a sec. Maple syrup? Why would he steal that? It's three bucks a bottle. Now that's that knockoff crap Ma buys. This is the grade A stuff they only tap once a year. The kid's right. Back in the day, the old Amber Princess was tearing New York apart. The five families walked away. Let the Frenchies have the whole sticky mess. Get going. That train hits Regina any minute now. And I get points on whatever you steal off of Pepe Le Puke. Gina, we're not stealing from him. We're stopping him for his own good. For his own good? What happened to you, man? You used to be beautiful. I have no father. How did I get an A-plus on this? I skipped class on test day. I know. Now, what say we pretend you're 18, stud saws? If I could move my face, I'd look very interested. Okay, if Petey's not gonna show, one of us has to go up. Oh. Oh. Hi, everybody. I'm Teresa McDougal. Thanks for coming out tonight. Okay, debating. Um, I think the other team's points are all lame, and they dress like dorks, and I don't know what is going on with that one chick's hair! I got this one, sis. Oh, thank God! I was running out of argumentations. What made you come back? My teacher just touched me inappropriately. <gasps> Petey, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, it was great but I realized I can't be the kind of person who cruises on looks alone, but the touching, top notch. Oh God, I wish I had your pores. Oh, what did you say? My point exactly. Now, what's the topic? What's the topic? I'll begin by quoting Aristotle. Where was I? Oh yes. <gasps> Aristotle once said, <gasps> sorry, I'll start again. <gasps> once said, ah, It's like I opened the Ark of the Covenant! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! See, kids? That's what happens to fornicators. But Reynolds, just take it! I'll climb out! Do I take it and you go? Or do you go and I take it? What is the difference? Crashing into a fucking train is the difference. I'm going, you figure it out. Ask Jack if he's carrying! You're a great guy, Jimmy, but I gotta fly free like the mighty penguin! You're gonna get pinched! And your English sucks! You got a sweet deal here. Why throw it away for pancake topping? Because ten million dollars in maple syrup is a lot sweeter deal, mon ami! Ten million? 
Geez, I throw away one of my kids for that. Metaphysically speaking, of course. Hey, how about I give you 10% for helping me? After all, you and Cheech's clowning around took the heat off of me, Mokshum. 10%? Okay, make it 15. Deal. Okay, all right. Let's stop shoveling coal on this diesel train and shake on it. What's that? Ah, crap. You were right, Jimmy. McFelcher was up to something. How the hell did he find us? He's a really good cop. Your ankle monitor. The one I put on your ankle to monitor you with. It led me right to you. Okay, I'll settle for 5%. I guess I blew the debate. How badly did we lose? We won! Jetsy totally stepped up. Boy, can he talk. It was like watching a master at work. And his Dutch accent, so sexy. Sorry I was such a jerk. Well, good-looking people always get a free pass. So, we're cool? No, I said good-looking, you're hideous. Hey, Jetsy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your witness was planning a caper right under your nose, Slade. What is this, Scooby-Doo? Shut up, man! Jacques, listen, I just wanted to stop you because I like having you around. Can you forgive me? No, Jimmy. Vat fair food. What's that mean? Go fuck yourself. Sounds so pretty in French. Well, Jimmy, you put yourself at great personal risk to prevent a maple syrup drought in Western Canada. Uh, no. That's not exactly what I was... That's our story, Jimmy, and we're bloody well sticking to it. Gotcha. Hey, where's Cheech? Ah, finally, getting the help I need. Your move, Lonnie. Yep, I'm gonna make a full recovery. Hey, that's my king, you son of a bitch. <laughs> right there is why you should never touch drugs. You're right, baby. Now, let's get hammered on maple syrup and vodka. La 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 la